Welcome to Droppy Beans, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And today, we got a suggestion. Who's it from, Julia? It's from Chelsea Fry. Oh, Chelsea Fry. Chelsea Fry asks, could you guys please, please, please draw the personified versions of paint color names? Sweet Chelsea Fry, we will do it for you. <laughs> Ooh, we'll a, little, a little bit of the Georgian. A little bit of that Jacob sweet is coming in. Georgia peach, Chelsea Fry. So uh, before we recorded this, we went and we looked up like the weirdest paint color names that we could find. Yeah, mine's not a paint color technically. I just looked up weird color names. Wow. But it's close enough. Yeah. For Chelsea Fry's sake, I think. Yeah. I think Chelsea Fry will be plenty pleased mm -hmm. with what we do. Um, I'm gonna start us off. And the color I picked is, and I don't know if this is the correct pronunciation, but I'm calling it Wenge. Wenge. It's W-E-N-G-E. -E. I'm going to write it on here. I'm going to say it's Wenge. Wenge. Something about it's very, like, evocative to me. Yeah. It sounds like someone real skeezy. Yeah. It sounds like a skeezy, untrustworthy fellow. Like, you don't want to tell your secrets to Winge. No. Because you know that Winge is going to let him get out. It's going to gonna sell it. Winge is going to sell your secrets. So I'm going to start off with, like, a little shape here. Oh, I thought you were drawing a frog. I'm not drawing a frog. Before you drew that right line, it looked like a frog face. <laughs> it, I mean, it still kind of looks like a frog yeah, face. Yeah, it does. But it's not a frog face. It's just Winge. Winge. Yeah, I think Winge is like a like a information's you know, dealer. Right. Winge knows things about people, and Winge wears a stupid turtleneck. Yeah, and to hide all the secrets in. To hide all the secrets in, and it's kind of like shoving his face up. It's really tight. Mm -hmm. and it's like shoving his face up here. It'd be the kind of character in a movie that it's like the main character has to go see them. Yeah. It's like, oh, you need information. You need to go see Winge. Yeah. But don't, you know, keep your lips tight. If Winge hears any secrets, he can't help but tell him. I like that. I was thinking that Wenge is like the the annoying, like kind of like last resort. Like the main character's like, oh, I guess, I guess we got to go see Wenge. Like Wenge, who's Wenge? You know, I'll go, I'll go get information from anyone. And they're like, I really didn't want to do this, and then they go to see Wenge, and he's just like a a weird pervert yeah you know and yeah there, there like is everyone's a, uncomfortable to talk to him there is a thing in a lot of movies where they have to go see a weird pervert for some yeah. reason that's like a common i know that's like a common thing that i've noticed we have to put up with the weird pervert like no you don't you don't have to put up with the weird pervert is the thing i mean this whinge is definitely also a weird pervert yeah is you that can, a mustache or a mouth? That's a smile. Oh, okay. That's oh. Winge's, Winge's pervert smile. Oh, no. Welcome to the Wingeatorium. That's what I call my information hall. That's what I call my forums. <laughs> and I oh, think he's Winge. got like, you know, kind of like devilish hair. Ooh. Like this. He's, he's balding, but he's decided that it'd be good to style his hair like this. Mm-hmm. Mm, you're getting dangerously close to a character that I have planned and that I have drawn for, for draw detectives. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. This is different. This is Wenge. Okay. This is Wenge. Yeah. Different. I just wanted on the record that uh, I drew that character like months ago and both of us completely forgot about him. Well, I want so. it on the record that this is Wenge <laughs> and I don't need any more of your attitude yeah. about it. I mean, his name's not Wenge, so there's a difference there. It's a different character. Yeah. This is Wenge. This is Wenge. Julia? Yeah. I don't know what you want from me. Uh -huh. This is Wenge. Fair. And if you don't start behaving, uh -huh. you're going to have to go pay a visit to Wenge yourself. Why? He's just got information. I don't yeah, but he's also it. a weird pervert. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that, that tidbit. What is this? Well, he's also. He looks like how I draw Eggman. He's also kind of an Eggman. Oh, he's also kind of an Eggman. Yeah, Winge is a is a is a gross <laughs> is a gross egg pervert. <laughs> Great, gross egg pervert Winge. Yeah, it's 
gonna be like holding out his susp- pulling out his suspenders, doing one of those suspender pulls. Yeah, you know the ones. Yeah, only perverts do it. Yeah, he floats around in his little egg cup. Well, I see you've come to your senses and come to see old Wenge. Look who's come crawling back to Wenge. And his little egg cup is making that stupid noise, and he's just snapping his suspenders constantly. Yeah, these are his pants, though. Oh, okay. That's worse. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not good, but neither is Wenge. Yeah. So I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. This is this is Wenge. And you got to go see him. It's necessary for the story. Mhm. All right, let's get like a little his little grabby hands. Kind of like Mhm. Mm, yes. <laughs> Hold on to my suspenders. He's got Klaus Nomi hair and I'm here for it. You mentioned Klaus Nomi more than any person has the right to. It's because once you know of Klaus Nomi, you can't help but think of Klaus Nomi. I'm going to send you to see Wenge. You're really asking for it today. (laughs) No, please. Uh, And we're going to get, he's got some little sleeveys. Mm Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. Arms and shoulders. This is classic Wenge. This is a very good character design is the thing. And then like he I just say needs... don't put anything on his pants because I think it's No, perfect. he doesn't need anything on his pants. He just needs little feet. Yeah. And oh, I... those weren't his feet. Okay. No, I think he just has like little. Oh. Like it's kind of like the feet are too small. Yeah. These little, uh, these little evil booties. Yeah. That he's wearing. Heeled booties. And you know you visited the winge. Yeah. And it's like, you'll get the information, but you're going to owe Wenge information in return. Mm-hmm. Wenge has no money. No. Because he doesn't accept payment in money. Well, he also keeps spending all his money on, on weird pervert things. Yeah, he has to buy a lot of weird pervert things, too. That's very true. But he he buys that stuff with his day job money. Yeah. He's like a insurance agent. Claims investor, mm-hmm. investigator. What are jobs? What are jobs know. that people do? I don't know. He's a sale, a vacuum salesman. He's a vacuum salesman. <laughs> Door-to-door vacuum salesman. Uh, three hairs. Good. This is Wenge, based on the color Wenge. I can't believe how good his design is, though. Which, I'm ap- so upset about it. Apparently, Wenge is a, a, a beautiful dark brown wood color with copper undertones. Ooh. Um, and it's based on a, a, the name of a wood. Well, all right then. Not this. Not this. Certainly not this. Julia, you want to come in and draw a color? Yeah. Get in here. Hop on over. I'm going. I'm here. I'm sliding. Slip slide your way to the top. Yeah. I really like Wenge. It's very well designed. So the color I have picked, it's, it's called Drake's Neck. Drake's Neck. Yeah. Like Nathan Drake from Uncharted. Like Nathan Drake from Uncharted is exactly it. He's got America's favorite neck. Yeah. It was voted. The American people voted. Yeah. So I think what Are I want- Are you going to write your color up there too so that oh. I'm not alone? Sure. For consistency's sake? Yeah. Drake's neck. There you go. It sounds like a place. It does. Welcome on down to Drake's neck where we- <laughs> drink beer and we go fishing and that's all we do um so what i think i want to do for mine is i tend to make a lot of uh comparisons that don't really make any sense when you think about it but when i say it you understand you know like i want i want this person to look like drake's neck like where i'm like you know you see that guy over there you know what he's kind of reminding me of? You know Drake? You know his <laughs> neck? That man kind of looks like Drake's neck. Julia, you've gone off the fucking rails with whatever it is you're talking about. And I'm very excited to see what any of this means. So I want him to look like a very specific dude's neck. So you're... Okay. Let yeah. me just... Let's let's recap. 
Yeah. First, we have to envision a, a man named Drake. Yeah. Who we don't know what he looks like. Right. And we don't know him. Mm-hmm. Then we have to imagine that he has a, a notable neck. Yeah. A neck that's worthy of remembering. Yeah. And then we have to imagine that you've seen a man on the street who reminds you of our good friend Drake's <laughs> unique neck. Yeah. That's the, the premise of this drawing. Yeah. What a journey. <laughs> what a journey we've gone on already just to get to this point. Right. But that's what I want out of this guy. All I right. want him to look like someone's neck. Like Drake's neck. Like Drake's neck. Very specifically Drake's. I mean, I have seen people where like their neck and their head are like the same width. Right. And they go just like straight down. Right. But that's, I'm not even going for that. But I say that those people look like a thumb typically. Right. No, I want this dude to look like someone's neck. You keep saying it. (laughs) And you can say it as many times as you want. He's got to be the human embodiment of a neck. (laughs) A neck's just a tube. Yeah. A neck's just a tube that connects your head to your, your body. But what if like... What if the neck that I'm drawing is like an old man's neck? Is Drake yeah. an old man? He could be. So, you know, like what, how would you describe an old man's neck? Droopy, lots of folds. Got mo- got moles on there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe an occasional hair in a weird spot. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I think you might be a genius. (laughs) Yeah? This is just the weirdest shit (laughs) that I've ever heard. Yeah. In my entire life. Mm -hmm. And you're saying it to me right now live on Draw, and I have to just like react to it. Right. That's the premise of the show we do. Yeah. That is the premise of the show. But there that we are days do. like today where I just I feel like there's so much I want to unpack. Right. And I I I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> like I'm I'm confounded. Right. Has Drake's neck gone to visit Winge? Yeah. Or are I they just so. hanging out together? I think maybe he's gone to visit Wen. Maybe it's like Wenge's one friend is Drake's neck, one true friend. You know. Wenge's Fringe. Yep. Wenge's favorite show is Fringe. Fringe. (laughs) That could be a friend's joke or a fringe joke. Maybe it's Fringe plus Friends. He watches both at once. Yeah. It cuts randomly between the two. Yeah. So when Wenge is describing to other people, he's like, oh, my friend's coming over. You know, he's that guy that, you know, Drake. And they're like, yeah. And he's like, the guy that looks kind of like Drake's neck. They're like, oh, Oh, God, yeah, I know yeah. that guy. Why does that make sense to me? Yeah, no. Weird. But I get it. Well, what's does this guy have his own name or does no one know it? No one knows it. Could they keep forgetting what his name is? Why is his shirt so loose? Because it's foldy, like an old man's neck. So Drake is an old man. No. Well, Yes. <laughs> Drake. I was forgetting that this man's name isn't actually Drake. Yes. But he looks like Drake's neck and Drake is an old man. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. (laughs) Yeah. As you draw this sad (laughs) ex-Marine who hasn't changed his shirt in too many days. And what what happened to the neck hole of this shirt? What did he do to it? He kept tugging at it because it was too close to his thick neck. But see, here's where we go down the rabbit hole. Because other people might look like this guy's neck. This guy doesn't have a very distinct neck. It's just thick. And but many it's really people have thick. a thick neck. And what if you saw a really thick guy and were like, that looks like Drake's neck's neck? But I think Drake is uh, just a really built old man. So he's got like a thick old man neck. <laughs> I've never thought about. <laughs> Necks this much, nor have I set like the words starting to sound like nothing to me. <laughs> it's losing all meaning. Yeah, he's gonna have the tiniest legs. Yeah, but his arms are normal proportion. 
for a much taller man. <laughs> yeah, hold on. But his legs are very <laughs> short. <laughs> this looks like Bart Simpson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Looks like midlife crisis Bart Simpson. Yeah, it does. I'm having a great time drawing those color. Thank you, Chelsea Fry, for suggesting this. I don't know if I want to thank you or not, Chelsea, honestly. <laughs> I know I was really pro Chelsea Fry at the beginning of this. Right. But I'm not sure where I've landed. And then here, here in the final hours, in the twilight moments of this Drawfee Beans. Yeah, because then I came onto the scene. And But you see what I did with the face there? That could be like an Adam's apple. Yeah, I see what you did. And you see like the, the two neck muscles or the, mm -hmm. the cheekbones there. Yeah, I see. I do see. And then that's like where the head would start, you know? So mm -hmm. he's got like real cut off. Uh-huh. And then he's got just like random hairs sticking out. Are you almost done? With yeah. this, do you want to be done? <laughs> Are you telling me that I need I a go? I need a break? I need to rest my my head. I have a headache. <laughs> You've given me a headache. Yeah, give him a little shorts. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely needs a little shorts. So, like and that man shoes. is so specific looking, but I can't help but still think of him as Drake's looking like Drake's neck. You know, he's got a real specific look, but still, is he wearing little sandals? Yeah, he's wearing little flippy floppies. This poor guy. No one wants to take the time to get to know him. Well, that's why he's friends with Drake. I mean, Wedge. What's happening? Where am I? I don't know. You've gone so deep down the hole. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can come back. No. I think we live down here now. Anyway, this is Drake's neck. This is Drake's neck. I wonder what the actual color is. It's um, probably the color of a damn duck's neck. It is. Um... It's a it's a specific kind of mallard. Uh and they have an iridescent bottle green head and neck, which is uh which gave its name to the rich green colored dye called Drake's neck in the early eighteenth century. Amazing. Anyway, this is Drake's neck. He looks like a neck. This is Drake's neck, he looks like a neck. <laughs> like an old man's thick neck. This is Drawfee Beans. It looks like a beans. It smells like a beans. It smells like a beans. Leave us your own comments. Suggest below. stuff for us. Suggest stuff for us. And I don't know what will happen if you do. Maybe this. <laughs> Maybe something <laughs> like this will happen. Is this not what Chelsea Fry was hoping for? I don't know. I can't imagine that it was. Oh. But this is what she got. And this is what you'll get to if you leave us comments. Yep. Uh, for what we should draw next time on Droppy Beans. And I think especially today. Yeah. We're sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs>